An immediately invoked function expression, or ify for short, is a JavaScript function that runs as soon as it is defined. So let me give an example. And if I run that, you'll see in the console my favorite number is 3. Note that this function has no name and is not stored in a variable. The first enclosing parentheses, right here, makes the function an expression. And the last two parentheses right here tell the JavaScript compiler to invoke or call this anonymous function immediately, hence the name immediately invoked function expression. So it's just a function that runs right away. We can also create a named immediately invoked function expression and we can pass in arguments. So I'm going to copy this here, make a new one, and we're going to name this. So here I use a default parameter. That means if you, we don't pass in anything, it's going to set num to equal 3. However, if we do pass in something, it will set num to equal whatever we passed in. So here, it's just going to do exactly what we did up here and say my favorite number is 3. So if we run that, we should see two times in the console. Yep, it does it twice for up here and up here. But now we can also call this. And now look, it immediately invokes it and we can call it again later and pass in a different argument. The most popular use of the immediately invoked function expression is to avoid declaring variables in the global scope and to create closures. Many JavaScript libraries use this technique so that variable names don't conflict between the library and programs that might use the library. Here is a simple example. So if we run that, you can see this function is going to be invoked immediately, and it's going to console.log the a, but it's going to use the a from within the function, 3. And when we console.log a again down here, it can't access anything within this function or within this closure, so it's going to use the a that we defined up here. So you can see it's going to do 3 and then 2. Because JavaScript has function level scope, all the variables declared in this anonymous function are local variables and therefore cannot be accessed outside the anonymous function. See my closure video for more about that. With ES6, you can now accomplish some of the same things as an iffy in a different way. Let and const variables use block scope. So as long as they are placed in a block, they will not pollute the global namespace. So let's just change this example to use block scope. I'm going to change this to b, b, and now we're just going to make this into a block. So it's no longer an immediately invoked function expression, it's just a block, and we're going to change these variables to let. And if I run that, see the first 3 and 2 are where we use a up here, but the second 3 and 2 here are where we use b. Before ES6, all variables had global scope. But now with constant let, you can have different scopes. So you don't always need immediately invoked function expressions as much as you used to. Well, thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, use your code for good.